Today we're going to look at Nearpod, available in Clever, and the options that are available with resources for you with pre-made lessons that you the first thing I would like for you to do is focus on this Nearpod library. That's going to be the largest collection of resources for you to search. You can search by any of these filters that are across the top here. The other way, or choose a keyword and type it here. What I'd like to show you is filter by standards over here on the side. You're go you can choose California and then you're here. So let's go to science and then you can choose a grade and it shows that there are 663 resources available different types of resources and then you can go to the strand option and filter even further for the specific strand if you have found one that you think the topic is appropriate for what you're looking for then you can choose to preview the lesson and then you can add it to your lessons to look at later, or you can go directly from here, click teach, and you can either assign it as a student paste where the students would work at their own pace or live participation where you can view their answers in real time and control their progress through the activities. You will receive a code that you can share with your students and then you could also choose to share a link with them, or you can post it into Google Classroom. When you're in the activity, you have the ab ability to toggle between student view and teacher view at the top. And in teacher view, you're going to view all of the students and their results. When you've completed the activity, you will go to the menu and end the session. And then you'll want to go over to reports and your lesson will appear in your session reports. You can see each of the sessions for that activity. If you drill down into that data, it gives you the specific names of the students with their participation for each of the items. And then if you go to student report, it gives you as an individual report of each student's responses. The activity reports give you an overall look at all of each of the questions. Next time, we will look at creating your own Nearpod, as well as customizing Google slide presentations that you may already have with Nearpod activities. Happy exploring.